all the organs of speech share the task of aiding speech production. As a result, each organ has its own function as regards the production of speech. Some are actively involved in the process, while others play a passive role. This brings us to the investigation of active articulators and passive articulators. What are articulators? Articulators simply refer to the muscles or parts of the human body involved in the production of speech also known as organs of speech. The articulators are grouped into two based on their roles in speech production, namely, active articulators and passive articulators. Active articulators. These are the organs that are mobile in the speech production process. That is, organs that move whenever we produce speech sounds. They include the following, their tongue, the lower lip, and the glottis. Tongue. This is the most mobile organ of speech as it makes contact with a number of other speech organs in articulation, such as the alveolar ridge and the hard palate, which help in the differentiation of sounds. For instance, when the tongue makes contact with the alveolar ridge, alveolar sounds are created, when it makes contact with the hard palate, palatal sounds are produced, and when it makes contact with both the alveolar ridge and the hard palate, palato-alveolar sounds are produced. Lower lip, this is another mobile organ speech. You can test this out by standing in front of a mirror and voluntarily trying to raise it. The lower lip helps in the articulation of labiodental fricatives such as their, fu and vu sounds, and it does this with the help of the upper teeth. It also aids the articulation of vowel sounds, and this is seen in its change of form in producing rounded and unrounded vowel sounds. You can try this out, stand in front of a mirror and try to pronounce the na sound. Glottis, this organ is responsible for voicing of sounds. It is the organ that determines whether a speech sounds will be voiced, produced with a vibration of the vocal folds, or voiceless, without vibration. The glottis is mobile because of the opening and closing movement of the vocal folds which it houses. The vocal folds are two bean-like organs that moderate the flow of air from the lungs and determine the voicing of sounds. The open and close movement of the vocal folds warrant the classification of the glottis as an active articulator. Passive articulators. These are the organs that remain immobile in the speech production process. That is, unlike the active articulators, these organs are stationary and so do not move at all when sounds are being produced. The passive articulators include the following, the soft palate, hard palate, alveolar ridge, pharynx, teeth and upper lip. Soft palate, this organ is, responsible for the articulation of velar sounds and they remains immovable during the production of speech sounds. Hard palate, this organ is responsible for the articulation of palatal sounds and remains immovable during the production of speech sounds. Alveolar ridge, this organ is responsible for the articulation of alveolar sounds and remains immovable during the production of speech sounds. Pharynx, this organ serves as the passageway for air leaving the lungs as well as air being inhaled, and so does not play an active role in speech production that involves movement. Teeth, these organs are responsible for the articulation of dental and labiodental consonant sounds and they remain immovable during the production of speech sounds. Upper lip, this organ is responsible for their articulation of bilabial consonant sounds together with the lower lip. It remains immovable during the production of speech sounds, although it changes form in producing rounded vowel sounds. Does that make it a semi-active articulator? Let me know in the comments section. So. Both active and passive articulators play important roles in the articulation of speech sounds, since intelligible sounds cannot be realized in the absence of either of them. Active articulators are the organs that move during speech production while passive articulators are the organs that remain immobile during articulation. Understanding the types of articulators and the roles they play will better inform you on the functions of speech organs in the human body. See you soon.